May 16th, Fairview Park, May 10th, Haynes Mall, and April 29th along Carver School Road. These are just three locations of gun violence in the city of Winston-Salem in 2022. Year to date, the city has seen nearly double the number of homicides from the same time periods from 2020 and 2021. But local officials, along with members of the city council, are working to find ways to turn the trend around. It's not relegated to one location in this community. This gun violence is occurring everywhere, every ward and every corner. This week, Council Member Barbara H. Burke assembled a panel of local officials to discuss what can be done differently to help solve the problem. Things are out of control and it's time for us to do something different, say something different, and it's time for us to come together. So when you say you want more police officers, I tell you, so do I. Help me, tell me, help me figure out how we make that happen. Chief Katrina Thompson says the Winston-Salem Police Department is stretched thin when it comes to staffing. This week, 15 cadets graduated the 77th Police Academy. She says those 15 are not even enough officers to fill the 17 that have retired during the first five months of this year. Even with the staffing woes, the Winston-Salem Police Department is committed to keeping citizens safe, but they are asking for your help. We need the information. Point us in a direction to let us know what has happened Tell us who may be involved. You can be completely anonymous with Crime Stoppers and let the police go out and do what the police do or the sheriff's deputies go out and do what the sheriff's deputies do to resolve these crimes. If you see a crime being committed, people have got to speak up and report what it is they have seen. They have to be willing to get up there on a witness stand and talk about the harm that they witnessed. Forsyth County Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough, retired District Court Judge Denise Hartsfield, along with the Superintendent of Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools and local clergy, all spoke on the panel. Then the public had an opportunity to share what they felt was necessary to curb gun violence in Winston-Salem. Is there any way where you know you have a hotbed that you can concentrate on that area until you clean it up? I've been hearing a lot of you all talk, asking the question to our panelists, what are you going to do about this? What are you going to do about that? What are you going to do about this? What are you going to do about that? I want to ask you the question of what are you going to do? It's time for you to stop pointing fingers and start pointing fingers at yourself. Step up. The community needs you. My first teacher was my mother and my father at my house. So I feel like when we start talking about the tier of accountability, we have to start at home first. The meeting concluded with a list of actions the city is taking now to make a difference in reducing gun violence. That includes putting additional boots on the ground, utilizing crime stoppers and text tip hotlines, along with having officers in more prominent places throughout the community. You can view the entire two hour town hall meeting and listen to the comments from each of the panelists on the city of Winston-Salem YouTube channel. For the city of Winston-Salem, I'm Daniel Cruz.